Okay, TP2 here. I am fencing my entire place. So I had to devise a way to uh, make a wire unroller, which would have to be vertical to unroll the wire. So let me show you what I did. I wanted a way to make this hay fork into, uh, which fits on the back of the tractor, I wanted a way to make this hay fork into a wire unroller like that. Let me show you what I came up with. I think it's pretty cool. Okay, there again is the hay fork off the tractor. But what I need for it to do, I need for that hay fork to be standing upright. Okay, here's what I did. So basically what I did was weld these little ears on here about an oh, inch and a half away from this, uh, from the what is the actually the back of the hay fork. I put my bolts through there, which allows me to go up, down, uh, pick up a roll, which I'll show you a little later. Uh, now, some of you say, well, I don't have pipes in my front end loader. Uh, those are for my forks. I've shown that on another video. This will work without, if you don't have these pipes welded in here. I'll show you how. If I didn't have those pipes in here, I would make it pretty much the same way. I would make that a little longer to give it a bit, little bit better bite in the bucket, bring it down. Right now it sticks out, oh, nine, maybe ten inches. I uh, sharpened the end here to make it easy to go into the bucket. I wouldn't do that on the if I was just doing it for just the bucket. I'd bring it out and then put a piece that comes down a little bit, maybe uh, down about a half inch that would really sit tight on that bucket. Weld a, weld a piece right here that would go down and sit uh, tight against that. And where I bolt mine in through these pipes, you're not going to be able to do that. This this hole obviously lines up with that hole. You're not going to be able, uh, you're not going to be able to do that. But what you'll do is come in here here with a chain and just uh, put a boomer on it. Or something like that to keep it keep it sturdy. You might want to even probably be better to boom it from that right there, and uh, just go ahead and boom it from that all the way around the top of the bucket. You know, come around here, and that gives you um, uh, uh, that gives you the the stability that, that you need. So I you know I would experiment with it some. But uh, since there's no way to bolt it in, uh, you know, absent using these, uh, you'll need to keep it from from sliding out. You know, you, you slid the for, the uh, bucket slid right in it. Well, it'll slide right out if I turn the bucket upside uh, upside down. So if I dump the bucket, it's going to dump this fork unless it's secured in here. So secure it in there with some chains, boomer, cable. Anyway, I thought you might want to see this. I think it's a heck of an idea, especially for someone who is already making hay forks. Uh, maybe you got a little backyard shop, you're making hay forks, uh, just, you know, two dollars worth of material, and they not only have a hay fork, they've got a, they've got a fence, a woven wire unroller, derailer, uh, also. Nice little, uh, I'll tell you what, work like a charm. I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you that. I've already done 1,800 feet of fence. Going to do lots more. Thought you might want to see it. Pretty cool. Probably wondering why all these uh, bolts are welded on here. Because you need a base plate. You need a plate for the wire to sit on. And it unrolls off that. And I did it on both sides. Another use for the 
this uh, fork setup is uh, a bob wire unroller and um, what I've done is just weld a couple of nice size nuts here this three-quarter um, rebar and I weld a nut that would receive that rebar on either side and what you got is a nice little bob wire unroller